remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Appa's video. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Yesterday, my wife told me that she wanted to eat fried rice, so today I'm going to do fried rice here. And it so happened that Appa has a lot of ingredients, um, leftover ingredients inside my fridge, so I'm going to clear my fridge today. First of all, I have some char siu, okay, and I actually use the microwave to uh, heat it up just now. And this is some of my um, baby French beans. I cut into uh, smaller pieces and uh, also uh, pan fry them first, yeah, stir fry them first until it is already cooked. This is some uh, spring onion, chopped, two uh, eggs. And this is uh, pre-cooked rice for a few hours. Um, this is about um, two measuring cup. Yeah, two measuring cup like this, good for four person. So this is going to be very simple. Okay, we're going to start with some vegetable oil, maybe about two to three tablespoons. And then we're putting in the egg. We keep on stirring the egg. You will see your egg will get uh, cooked more and more. When the egg is like about 70-80% cool, we will put in the rice. And it's actually easier to use a non-stick yeah, for, for this particular process. Easier. Lah. If you are a Kung Fu master, go ahead to use any wok that you like. Okay, now it's like 70-80%. I'm going to put in the rice, pre-cooked rice. Many people say it has to be overnight, actually it doesn't matter. Uh, I usually will cook a few hours before, which is definitely good enough. Uh, what you really want is, you want your rice grain to be um, not too wet, yeah? It should be a bit dry. So just pre-cook for a couple of minutes, uh, before, a couple of hours before. That is good enough. Mm. Very fragrant. Immediately, you turn the golden in color. See? And you want to use at least medium high heat, yeah? Not too low. Alright, now we have a uh, loop. This process, the first process here is actually to loosen out the rice so that it doesn't come to clumps together, right? So after you manage to loosen up the rice to make it individually, uh, individual grain, then we can actually turn down, the, turn down the heat a little bit. I'm going to uh, season this. First of all, two, three rounds of light soya sauce. I'm going to give it a little bit of oyster sauce as well. By the way, I've already turned down the fire right now, yeah? Okay, this is oyster sauce. I'm adding my own uh, homemade chicken powder. Of course, uh, this is optional. And... Uh, some salt, fine salt,
you can choose to add whether or not you want to add the uh, dark vinegar or not. That is optional. Uh, sorry, not dark vinegar, dark soya sauce. Okay, now we can raise the heat back to medium high. I can smell the light soya sauce right now, very, very fragrant. And the rice is definitely very loose. So you want to use your uh, medium high heat to really give the rice some um, wok hay, yeah? some wok hay. Then I'm going to add in the char siu, which is already chopped. Some um, baby uh, French beans. This is what I left inside my fridge, so you don't see a lot. Some, uh, this is the uh, spring onion. I'll leave some towards uh, for garnishing. Actually, I noticed one of the uh, biggest mistakes that many home cook does when it comes to uh, frying rice or frying noodles is that their ingredients usually add up more than the rice. <laughs> Uh, I think that's not right. If you're frying rice, the rice should be more, right? <laughs> then only you have the balance. Mmm, almost done. Very fragrant. So now you just want to taste your rice to see whether it is salty enough. If it's not... If it's not salty enough, you just add more light brown sauce or some salt. Mm, to me, it is already, already salty enough. Um, I'm just going to give it a bit more fragrance, enhanced flavor. These are some fried garlic. And also give it a bit of fried garlic oil towards the end. Okay. And I'm going to off the fire. Just give it a few stir and it's basically done. Very, very fragrant. Very, very fragrant. Beautiful char siu fried rice. From my leftover ingredient. <laughs> this is what home cook is all about. Done. Alright, here's Appa's char siu fried rice. I'm going to garnish it with some spring onion on top. There you go. I hope you like my very simple video today. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come Google Apa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Google Apa YouTube channel. A dinner for the family can be very easy. Bye bye.